So today I thought I would drive by really quick and do this quick little video to show you how they determine what is accessible and what's not accessible as far as wheels go, like a wheelchair or a scooter. If you're on crutches, I guess you could do it. Um, there's a, I'll show it to you in a second here. There's a really nice flat paved trail, boring, but uh, and it goes for ugh, six miles or something like that. It's a long ways. And anyway, round trip. But it's also part of what I showed you during the rainstorm video that I did in January. This area where I'm at now was underwater. And I showed you that before. I said that was a place where you could go walking and doing all this stuff you can't do right now. Well, you can do it now. It's all nice and flat. Part of the thing about uh, determining whether it's an accessible trail or not has to do with parking, the trail itself, and how you get to the trail. So let me show you. Come with me. So see, there's a nice, boring, flat, paved trail. And it goes on. It goes that way for a long ways. And it even has handicapped parking, you know, spaces. It's got three of them, actually. One, two, three. Van accessible. And it has a porta potty But if you're in a wheelchair, too bad, so sad. So it, it checks the boxes for, you know, handicapped parking boring flat paved trail. However, you can't get to the trail because it's gravel. This parking lot is all gravel. The trail goes all the way down that way and keeps going that way and then it gets cut in half by a, a road, a really busy road, but there's a crosswalk turn signal things there and then it keeps going a little farther to uh, actually a soccer complex. Uh, but anyway, so as nice as that, you know, boring flat paved trail looks as far as scootering or wheeling, you can't get to it because it's gravel. So it's not really accessible, even though they say that it is, and it's got your obligatory three parking spaces. So if you're just on crutches, like I said, go for it. If not, wait till your foot heals. Oh, and speaking of which, let me show you this. Uh-oh. Ding, ding, ding. I'll show you this. Look at this. You ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. I'm sporting a brace now. Got out of the Frankenstein boot. Am I excited or what? Still not quite ready for all the trails, you know, but, and if I do anything lengthy, I would definitely still be scootering. But, um, yeah, we're making progress. I'm a happy camper. So that was about it. I just wanted to show you this trail that looks accessible, but it isn't unless you can boonie crash through the gravel. I mean, I guess wheelchairs or something if you're, I don't know, maybe if you're on an electric one, they have a little wider wheels, maybe that would do it. But uh, it's still, I mean, this gravel is thick too, because I've walked in it and it's thick gravel. So you probably would sink. I know that um, Blue Streak, the scooter wouldn't, do it at all it would definitely get stuck so it's accessible but not anyway i wanted to just kind of point that out and to show you my new fancy brace instead of the frankenstein boot so we're getting there we're getting there hopefully in a few more weeks i can actually get on a regular dirt trail not a really exciting one but something besides boring flat paved trails so stay tuned we'll see if that comes to pass uh shortly so thanks for joining me on this weird little roadside stop and I will, I will uh, see what else we can get, you know, what other trouble we can get into, <laughs> into between now and the next time I see you. So take it easy and I'll talk to you later.